fact that there are so many taxis in Berlin is not only due to the German capital's population of some three and a half million, Berlin is also popular with tourists and business travelers, and many of them use the 7,600 taxi cabs that ply the city streets. Martin Dole has been a cab driver for more than 20 years. At first it was just a student job, but now he's made a career of driving his taxi through Berlin's 900 square kilometers. Diese Größe the size of the city means that there are parts of it that you might not visit for weeks or even months. As a cab driver, I'm always surprised at how much Berlin changes. The city is full of construction sites, and you may have to contend with one for weeks. And then suddenly it's gone. There's an apartment house or a bridge or a shopping center there. Dole guides disoriented tourists through the city, makes sure business travelers catch their flights, and sometimes has very special passengers. Of course you have celebrity passengers in Berlin. I've driven Till Schweiger, Udo Lindenberg, Nina Hagen, and I drive for the German parliament, so of course I drive a lot of parliamentarians. And sometimes you get a former minister. There have been taxi cabs in Berlin for some 120 years, and for decades they were black. In 1971, the color light ivory became mandatory for taxis in West Germany. For years, most of the cabs were built by Mercedes-Benz, but today, like at Berlin's main train station, you see lots of other models. Berlin's cab drivers have long been considered a special breed. I always heard they weren't supposed to be very friendly, but so far I've found them all very nice. Sometimes you get a loudmouth, or someone who doesn't know where the street is, after all. They're fast and they get you where you want to go. Taking a taxi in Berlin isn't terribly expensive. A 10-kilometer trip that takes some 20 minutes costs around 20 euros. I've heard that there are cab drivers who earn only four to eight euros an hour. That's not even the minimum wage. But as a self-employed driver, I work as long as I need to. That can mean I end up working 60 hours a week or more. After the Berlin Wall fell, the city's Potsdamer Platz, which had been in no man's land, was rebuilt from the ground up. It's a must-see for tourists, and everyone goes there. Vacationers often ask Dole if he can show them a part of Berlin they won't necessarily find in any travel guide. So here's his latest tip. This is Gleis Dreieck Park. It's Berlin's newest park, and I think it's one of the nicest. It's ideal for families with kids. You can skate here or go on the swings. There's a water playground, and you're in the middle of the city, near Potsdamer Platz. Nighttime in Berlin is when the workday really starts for many taxi drivers. For 10 years, Dol only drove at night. These days, the Friedrichshain-Kreuzberg district is the trendy part of town for partying. This is the best view at sunset. Whenever I drive along here, I could drive here every day at sunset to see this. Club goers in Berlin are known for making more than one party stop in the course of a night out. That's good business for taxi drivers. And some clubs stay open through the entire weekend. Berlin clubs are really hard to find because they never have signs out front. You wonder why all these people are lining up and it turns out to be either a popular snack bar or a club. There's always something going on in Berlin and that keeps taxi drivers busy around the clock. <laughs>